Hello everyone and welcome to the Mangoes Workshop. Today we're playing pre-modern. What is pre-modern, you may ask? Well, it is a community-made format and it wants you to play with old cards. It goes from Ice Age, that's from 1995, to Onslaught, that's 2003. And it's basically every card with old frame. Of course, if you go to a pre-modern tournament or you play with your friends, you can play with reprints. Those are definitely welcome in the format. But here at Mangoes Workshop, I love to show you my original cards and those involve usually the, 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 the first version of the cards. Of course, the best place to buy those cards and those decks is TCG Player and uh, make sure to use the affiliate link in the description so that it tracks the Mangoes Workshop. And uh, if you want to sleeve your deck and get all the best card accessories, Ultimate Guard is the place to go. Now, Tommy, let's get to the game. So we wanted to start with a classic. This is the, the, the Elves versus Goblins. This is really just old school magic. You know, when you're a kid, you're playing with Llanowar Elves and uh, Goblins. So here we are. So my deck isn't actually the normal list with uh, the Anger and the full Survival of the Fittest package. I'm more of a Mildrage Elves deck. I like to attack with Deranged Hermits and Tribal Force Mage. Of course, using Gaius Cradle and Survival of the Fittest, which are two busted cards. Uh, but yeah, overall, the goal of the deck is very similar to the other Elves deck, but I've tested this matchup a lot and I'm ready to show you my great cyber plan later. Hello guys, today I'll be the bad guy here. I'll play my Goblin Lucky, uh, Siege Gang Commander, fire off some Mog Fanatic, uh, shoot some Elves here. Let's see how it goes. All right, Tommy, let's see who goes first. We need the die roll is super important in this matchup. I need my elves to survive. Okay, that's high, very high. 13, pretty powerful. If you roll four dice, yes. it's, it's I easier. I need four yeah. to beat your 13. <laughs> no, 14. Bad news for you. It is, you good, good luck, good luck. Good luck. Uh, no, turn one lucky on the horizon. Goblins players always have it, I swear. You have the best hand I could ask for. No, <laughs> I don't, but I'll keep it regardless. Okay. Go ahead. Classic here. Mountain, no. Goblin Lucky. No, I told you, they always have it, I swear. It's like a bug in the system, you know. If you play Goblin, you always have Mountain, Goblin Lucky. I, I even play 8 Lanwar Elf. Oh, no, actually, I have it, sorry. I thought I didn't have it. Anyway, it's gonna die anyway. It literally doesn't matter. Go. <laughs> okay. Wasteland. Nice. Yeah, you have this, a basic forest. It doesn't do much. Mod Fanatic. <laughs> I told you it was, it was like this. Thank you for one. No, don't go Siege Gang, come on. Yeah, I don't have it. Nice. You're so lucky. I am. <laughs> but I have the Goblin Ring Leader. That's not bad. Let's see. Where yeah, so you reveal four Goblin, yes. four cards. Ooh, a Naturalize. Pile Driver, Mountain. Ah, Two Goblin. So close. I'll take it. So close, okay, okay. So you have a Pile Driver and a Mog Fanatic. Nice. Yeah. I go? Yeah, you can go. Top draw, play a second forest, and uh, you have a Mog Fanatic in your hand. Ah, this is so tough. I'll go for a dead man walking <laughs> and pass the turn. It definitely is very, very rough, this matchup. That's my Mog Fanatic. Uh, but on the, fun. on the play, it would have been a totally different, because it would have gone. Three mana on turn two and so on. But it's okay, you can go, you can go. First thing first, let's fire off this priest. Oh, that's with the my gem pump. Gem pump incinerator, yes. two damage, draw a card. Play Carpusum Forest. Okay. Attack you for three. I got a 16. This one, the uh, Goblin Luck is triggering. Put into play Pile Driver. Nice, nice. Could have been worse. Take one, go Take to 19. One, yes. Play Monk Fanatic. Okay, sweet. It's your turn. Okay, okay. Could have been worse. Could have been worse. 
Oh. Yes. A, a nice little blank draw for me. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go for the four card. More mysterious Could card. Could be anything. It's a it's a mysterious creature. Okay. <laughs> and tough and draw. Of course, pre-modern, in case you arrived here without knowing what it is, it's the format that was before modern. So it's every card from Ice Age to Onslaught. Everything with the old border, basically. But you can play with reprints, but you know, here at Mango's Workshop, we like to play with pretty cards, so only old border. We, we, we don't do that. Only old border. Only old border over here. Okay. Let's kill immediately. Your Morphia. Okay. Was a Tribal Force Mage. Okay. And then how much damage is that? Uh, tap for three oh. here. Five plus five. Eight. I got to eight. Any trigger from the Lucky? Uh, yes. Play another Lucky. Okay, okay, for free. And another Wasteland. Okay, your okay. Turn. And tap and draw. Oh. Powerful. Yes, very powerful. My last two draws were. Uh... No, no, actually, it wasn't. Anyway, let's go. We are a ranger. Yes. I return a forest. I replay it. Yes. And then I'll uh, pass the turn. Actually, yeah, I'll pass the turn here. Very suspicious. Very suspicious. Could be. Could be anything. I'll move to combat. Yes. I'll attack with everything. I'm at eight. Yes, you take. Every no. <laughs> I'll uh, chum block. Yes, you take four. I'll mm. take four. I got a four. I got four, and I put into play Goblin Pile Driver. Another oh, one. Oh no. Yes. All right, end of turn. I'll. P you pass? I pass. End of turn, I'll play a Color of the Claw, which is really good if you have stuff that dies. Otherwise. That's fine. It's a three mana two two with flash, that makes a bear token. That's I go. Strong. Yes. I need to draw some things, otherwise I'm dead. Oh, it's a creature. <laughs> We're a ranger. Return a forest. Play a forest. Pass. Combat. Yes. So I have to block your pile drivers. Yes. And I'll uh what's my line to win the game here? There isn't actually. I am no. drawing dead, <laughs> as they say. So I'll uh, block a lucky, go to one. Okay, you go to one. My things die. Yes. Your things die as well. You have another color of the clue. Not trigger this time. Okay. Pass. Draw. Oh, exactly what I wanted. <laughs> when my creature died. Not telling you, my hand was not very good. And yeah, as as expected, when elves against goblins, when goblins win the die roll, it's a good matchup. But now my cyber plan arrives. It's gonna be cool. Okay, it's time for sideboarding. This is a plan that I love. Of course, the call of the herd was an idea from Tommy, and it was a really an, an insane plan against goblins. You basically become a black-green mid-range deck with the deranged Dermot as your win condition. You have card advantage in Call of the Herd and Wall of Blossoms to block the elves, especially on the play. This is amazing. The cards to cut are super easy. Tangle Wire are awful, as you saw in game one. Natuko Vigilante really doesn't kill anything. And finally, it's Priest of Titania. This is obviously like one of the strongest cards, but at the end of the day, it's not gonna untap. It's a two mana one one. It is just not very good, so I'm glad to make the swap and let's become mono green mid range. My sideboard plan here is very easy, it's very simple. I'm gonna put in four pyrokinesis. Uh, since uh, it's an instant, uh, I don't wanna mm, remove some goblin uh, from my deck to make uh, my ringleader weaker, so I'm gonna remove uh, naturalize, even if it can kill. Uh, card like uh, Survival of the Fittest and Masticore, uh, plus uh, Goblin King, which doesn't do much here. It doesn't play Mountain, so it's easy cut. Game number two begins, and I'm on the play this time. Your Goblin Lucky won't go 
as free as he was in game one. Uh, that's a good end, very good end. I keep. I keep as well. All right, let's go Forest, Lanoir, Elves. Your turn. Pretty basic. I'll start by... Healing my Elves. Healing your Elves. Yes. yes. Right now. <laughs> Good old Mog Fanatic. <laughs> and by the way, back in the days, the rules of Mog Fanatic were better for it. You had the damage on the stack. You could attack or block, and after damage on the stack, you could sacrifice it, so it could take down a 2-2. Now the rules changed, and you can't do that anymore. In pre-modern, you actually play with the newer rules, so no damage on the stack here. Okay, I'll play a Priest of Titania, which has been uh, s remained as a single copy, and here Very it is powerful. in my opening game. Hopefully, I end up with it. And this, she's gonna be like, "No, why did you cut me?" Or she just dies, and then you trade two mana for one. We'll see. Clear Shadow Port, pass. Woo! On very, tap. very strange uh, play for me. For the Top of forest. Goblins deck. Yes. Alright, I have no instant, so I draw. Nice. It's a very good draw. Powerful. I'll play a Lanoir Elf. Yes. I'll top Titania for two mana. I'll play a Gahez Cradle. Very powerful. One more mana, and I'll play a Call of the Herd. This is my cyber plan. Starting to show off here, getting that elephant token and passing the turn. Wasting a mana. Go. Play a mountain here. And Goblin Warchief. Plus, I'm gonna Pyrokinesis. Removing Goblin Matron. Okay, what do you target with it? I target Priest of Titania and your elephant here. Okay, the elephant will come back though, I feel it. Later. Yeah, that's Time two damage. Yes. I got 18. Once again, I haven't done any shout out yet, but uh, of course the videos are sponsored by Ultimate Guard, where we're writing on this very sweet life pod. Of course, using I'm using white katana sleeves, Tom is using blue katana sleeves deck boxes the one that i love the most are indeed the boulders on top and draw okay i have a bunch of options but i think the best of the bunch is actually just flashback in this call of the herd getting back my elephant just some nice little card advantage go ahead all right let's see if we can kill it again yeah another pyrokinesis would be hard and then have it, unfortunately. But I have... Ooh, the gang! Siege gang commander! Four for mana? Four mana, yes. Because my goblin worship make it cost one less. You can get some, some goblin tokens. Mm -hmm. Yes. Unfortunately, we have new tokens. That is definitely something that we could improve. If you guys want to send us some goblin tokens, old ones... Actually, I have free. a... I just thought about it. I have a very good goblin token from uh, an inched. Anyway, attack me. Pass. Oh no, you don't attack? No, I'm my, scared. My elephant keeping <laughs> five scared. creatures back. Very good of you, elephant. Okay. Pay one green. I'll play a Lanora Elves. Yes, very then I'll play... I'll get three mana with a Guest Cradle. Plus two. Five. And that's five for the Whoa. deranged hermit. This card is really powerful. It's in the reserve list for how much powerful it is. They said, you know what? The ranger made too strong. We cannot <laughs> ever reprint this card ever. But you know, thankfully, Urza's legacy gave this card to us. So here we are. Okay, so I don't feel like attacking because. Goblin uh, Sharpshooter can just do a disaster here, so I just pass the turn. Even Goblin Matron 4, it would just be a disaster. You're a wise man. But it still I is a disaster, it's not that it. <laughs> I don't care. Woo! Well, what I can do here? Nothing. Yeah, Nothing. I think just I'm gonna pass. 
Oh, a nice little pass the turn. So my guess cradle will be tapped by the Reshadow Port that you're hiding behind your behind your yes. mountain. So uh, <laughs> we saw it. I'm gonna I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna pay the echo. Do you wanna tap anything else? Yes, I wanna tap a forest. Okay. I'll go. You can go. And actually before Before you kill my elves, I want to play a Survival of the Fittest. And then I'm going to play a Quirion Ranger. Returning a forest to my hand, untapping the Lanra Elf. Then I'll play a land for turn. And pass the turn to you. Okay, end of turn, I'm gonna fetch. Deck thinning or do you got anything to play? Yes, I just want to remove a mountain from my deck. And I'll play a Gem Palm Incinerator. On my elephant. On your elephant, yes, and draw a card. And tap, okay. It's funny how we both have five drops of our tribe. You have the yes. Chief of the Goblins, I have the Chief of the Elves. You can see which one is stronger. Yeah, that's true. Okay, I'll play another fetch. I'm gonna mm. fetch right now. Just for fun. And I'm gonna fire some goblins here. One on your queer. And another one here. I'm doing it now because I don't wanna be killed by color of the cloak. Wise man. Pass. End of turn, I'll tap two mana. Yes. And I'll use the survival ones. Discarding the ranged hermit, grabbing a squee nabob goblin, and then using the other green to discard the squee nabob goblin, and I'm gonna get a to -tu -ru -tu -ru. All right, I'm gonna get this color of the cloak card that you are scared of. On top, upkeep. I'd like to return squee to my hand. Do you do anything? Not for now. Oh, you so do you let me draw? Yes. In draw step, do you do anything? Stop. Your guess, Credo. Okay. In draw step, so of course I can't use the mana. Uh, all right, I'm gonna get six green mana, and I'll uh, use one. I'm gonna just deck thin here. <laughs> I'm actually going to bin a bunch of bad creatures that I don't wanna draw here. So <laughs> I'll do it four times, and I'll just get the Findered Elves and, Go and uh, Lanoir Elves, which is just, just entomb basically with Survival of the Fittest. Why? Poor, poor Elves. Yes. And then with the last one, I'm gonna get the uh, Queer Ranger. And then I have one more mana floating. Yes. And I will discard these uh, Multani's Acolyte. And I'll go get do, 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 the Tribal Force Mage. Fine. Okay, so I'm in main phase now. Green, I'll play a Queer Ranger. Green, on top of land, on top Lanoir Elf. Green, three mana, I'll play a Morph Creature. Mysterious Creature. Very mysterious creature. Okay, I move to combat and I only attack with three squirrel token, which are just one one, but they can become three three thanks to the trouble force mage. Okay. No blocks here. I don't want to unmorph, so you just take three, you go to 15. And you can go. Sharpshooter. And the pass. Do I need this color of the cloak? Yeah, I think I'll uh, keep it up with Lana or Elf. I could have played it this turn even. Upkeep, I will return this Queen Abob Goblin to my hand. You tap this, I have eight mana. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to discard this. I think I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna Entomb for all my Lana or Elves. All right, yeah, I'll Entomb for uh, a bunch of these Elves that I don't wanna draw. And then finally, with the last one, 
think I'm gonna get uh, the virus symbiote here. Draw step. After properly deck thinning, I drew a forest. It was exactly what I wanted to draw. <laughs> it wasn't, but okay. <laughs> I will attack now with, um, I think this time around, I'll attack with all my squirrels. Okay, no blocks here. All right, this time I will not be afraid and I'll tap two Lanoir Elf to unmorph the Trouble Force Mage and I will choose Squirrel. They all become 3-3 three, three, Trample. Okay, new response. I'm gonna play a fresh new Pirate King. Nice, so you had it the whole time. Hope the Close has non token, so if you kill all my squirrels. <laughs> Thank you. You kill all there the are four squirrels here. All the squirrels you kill. Yeah, nothing I can do about it. Ability resolves. Nothing happened. We move to second main where I'll play a virus symbiote and pass the turn. Very powerful combo. And something good here. That's actually pre pretty good card. Oh, you pitched the Goblin Matron there. Yes, that, that was a long time ago. Oh, it was the last turn. I was like... You have to like... worry about my sharpshooter. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> so don't check my gradient. No! Oh wow, okay, okay, no, that's fine, it's fine. It's I strong. could say I played around it. You have to play around your color of the clue. This matchup is actually super tricky. I love to play this matchup because, well, it's bad, but like, you have the tools to navigate against it. All right, so Sharpshooter resolves. I'll kill your Symbiont. Okay. In response, I'm gonna return an elf on top of a creature. Yes. It's dead. Yes. Pass. Pass. Okay, untap. Upkeep. So, no bears? No bears, no. I play, you keep everything else I have. I would like to return the squee. You tap my Caretto. Yes, I do. I get three mana. I'll discard the squee. I'll grab Multani Zacolite. I'll discard Multani Zacolite. Grab Multani Zacolite. I'll discard it again. And finally, I get a Masticore. Okay, I go to draw step. My deck is very thin. Full of lands. Full of lands. <laughs> well, I love to draw lands here. I don't draw land, but that's okay. So you know about this. So this is my hand. All right, I'll float green and green. Yes. I'll use the Ranger. I'll make a land for turn. And then I'll top four. And I'll play the Masticore. Oh, very strong. And then it's your turn. I kill your uh, Quirion Ranger. Okay, so <laughs> if I ping your Sharpshooter, you can use the Siege Gang to untap it and then kill my other stuff. Yep. It's dead. You untap it. Yes, one by one. <laughs> I can't, I can't do, I can't move. Go. I'm gonna kill one more elf. Then I'll pass. Bears, now, no. So if I play Color of the Claw, you just shoot down my Masticore. No, I just, I just untap again. Upkeep. Yes. I'll uh, have two triggers, one and two. So first I return the squee, and then I maintain the Mastic or discarding squee. Tapping this cradle. I'll uh, tap it for mana, and I'll like to shoot down the sharpshooter. I'll uh, shoot here. I'll float a green. Yes. You untap it. Untap it. Then I'm gonna deal one damage to you. Okay, I got a 17. I'll sacrifice my chef shooter myself to deal two damage here. Two damage here? Yes. Okay. And two more damage by sacrificing the goblin. Okay, I will uh, regenerate it. Pass. Draw.
I'll tap two and I'll play a Wall of Blossom. Oh, Draw a card. Powerful. Yes. The Masticor dies, but you know you have to sacrifice a bunch of goblins. I think it's okay. Draw. Yeah, because I drew a Gaia's Cradle, so <laughs> I actually mm -hmm. have uh, again four, again two mana, but you can tap it and then kill my Masticor. So I think I'm just better off in playing another Wall of Blossoms. Pass. Police deck. That's good. No. That's good. Let's start with Jump Up. Okay, so two you do two damage, draw yes. a card. Not so good. Two more damage. Dios must be four. I'm gonna rearrange my graveyard, it's a little bit messy. I don't like messy graveyards. Anything else? No, just wooded foothills. Untap. Tap the yes, cradle. So first again, I get back the squeak, you tap the cradle. I use the two mana to discard the squeak and go get a Multanis Acolyte. This time yes. I don't want to entomb anything because I may not have any creature left in my deck. Draw for turn. Oh, I forgot that those. Call oh, of the oh, Hurt. Oh, oh. <laughs> Super strong now. Elephant, go. I'll fetch. Could have gotten a queer Ranger, but I may have discarded a all earlier. Yeah, I don't have them anymore. <laughs> I should have kept some. Go. Too greedy. No, it's okay. I wanted to draw lands. I drew only four. I guess five with the second cradle. Play lucky. Okay, that's good draw. I like it. I like it. I like it. Pass. Okay, untap. Tap your cradle. Uh, get back squee. Discard. I'm gonna tutor a wireless symbiote. Shuffle. Draw. Hopefully it's a basic forest. I have like 11 basic forests, and my deck is very thin. It's very strange. You just don't draw them. Draw for turn? Yes. Okay, okay. There you have it. There I have it. Happy. Uh, attack with an elephant. I'll take it. And I just get back, I just play back another Call of the Herd. This is the, the, the gameplay that I love to do against goblins. Just hard cast Call of the Herds. Too, ma too many elephants here. Go. Yes. <laughs> Pass. Okay. Half give and not even one single wasteland yet. Uh, we do Pass. the we do the same trick with goblin and the top land. I'm gonna grab uh, very few creatures left. I grab a deranged hermit. Draw. Okay. Attack. I'll take it. Good five. I'll play another call of the herd. <laughs> Stop it. Ah! Go to four, I fetch as well. Okay. Wow, this game was fun. I hope you guys that are watching this video also found it fun and entertaining. Let me know in the comment if you have taken some different lines, either from me and Tommy, because we definitely took a while to figure out what was the best lines. You know, this, this was definitely not an easy game. So yeah, I hope you at home enjoyed it. Tommy, did you enjoy it? Of course I am, and I'm gonna also play Goblin Mushroom. Ooh, you can get you can get another Siege Gang. Let's see. You can prolong the game now. <laughs> I'm gonna take Goblin Ring Leader. Ooh, you don't That's, take Siege Gang. No, I wanna I wanna see if I'm lucky or not. Goblin lucky? Yeah. I yeah. hope many I hope many of them on top of your deck. So you tap four. Yeah. That's one four. Like this. Okay. So no cards left. No. Whoa. No. <laughs> there we have it. Okay. Good old three but, goblins. Okay, you don't have ace though. No. So you got two pile driver and another ring leader. Sorry, and another siege gang. I think I'm happy here. Pass. Are you happy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll deck thin my deck further more. I really want to draw land here. 
Okay, upkeep. Do you do anything? I'll tap your guest cradle. Okay. Once again. So I have six, I have five mana. So I win the game with a land. So I'm just gonna entomb all of the creatures away. <laughs> My deck is basically just lands and survival and one you color there. You can draw survival. Size so survival, yeah, right? <laughs> Okay, and uh, yeah, draw, forest, so lucky, so lucky, <laughs> so lucky. morph, yes. unmorph, name elephants, could we name walls as well, yeah. thank you for 15, trample, block, 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 and block. woo, I was, able to, me. I was able to win this game, it was not easy, I swear, this game was yes. very, very difficult, I basically just, Needed my whole deck minus three survival of the fittest to beat to beat you. <laughs> it's very hard, very cool game. All right, we are game three. I'm on the play. No goblin lucky this time, please. Yes. Please. Yes. It's not that you. Every time you have a goblin players on the play, it's, they have the lucky. You know. I told you, it's, when you play goblin, it's like that. Because game two you didn't have it because you were on the draw, of course. You have it. I have it. Do you keep? Yeah, like not have any removal spell, so <laughs> I keep. Play mountain, goblin lucky. I keep. Yeah, it's okay. I said I kept. I keep. Okay, I keep for sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go. Go. Oh. Bad news for you. I'm gonna play this uh, Monster Valley okay. to show it to you because it's a cool land. Yeah, it is. It is actually. Play Gem Palm Incinerator. Yeah, but please don't have the Siege Gang. Just spend like. Yes, just... I'm doing the combo here. No. One time. No, you have it? Again. No. <laughs> Die. It's the combo. Turn, one, turn two combo. I top my forest. Yes. At least it's a better forest. <laughs> oh, another better forest. It's okay, I mean, my hand wasn't great because I didn't have lands. I drew the lands and it's still not great, so. Maybe it wasn't a keep. <laughs> uh, I'll make a very threatening plate on me. Oh, really? Yeah. Wall? Uh, two mana, one, one. <laughs> Go. That's strong. Is it? No. It doesn't want anything. I think I'm gonna kill it immediately. I'm gonna attack you for. Five. five. I got a 14. fourteen. Do you have any more goblins? No, yes. no, 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 no. A weak one this time. Okay, we got a weaker one. Not much one. Ring leader, <laughs> come on! How's that weak? That's good. Uh, okay. I'm so dead. Yes, good old ring leader, draw three. At least game two was was fun. Yes, <laughs> but this is fun. This Why is for you. you. <laughs> Play an end and pass. Untap, draw. Oh, this is a game one over. But I have a cyber card. But it doesn't do anything. Yeah, but you anyway, see, you have a three, three. I have a look at this. I paid three mana for a three three and passed the turn. Doesn't seem very strong compared to what you did, but you know. It is what it is. I'll do five damage to your three three. Play a fetch, attack you for uh, a million. How much is it? Four, seven. You got a seven. I'll put into play War Chief. Just, you know, for fun. And a pile driver as well. Pass. You can see, guys, a fair match. I will show you a three of a kind and concede. I lost to the master and this card, Goblin Lucky, Very which fun. magically appears in your hand if you play goblins and you win the die roll. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this free modern video here at Mangus Workshop. If you arrived to here, please subscribe to the channel to not miss the next one. Like the video and let us know in the comment what is the next deck you want to see, what is the next format you want to see, if you want to see more pre-modern, what deck, maybe Oath of Druids, maybe Pyrection Dreadnought action, 
So yeah, thank you so much once again to our sponsor, Ultimate Guard and TCG, of course, for being supporter of the show. Again, if you shop from Europe, from ultimateguard.com, link in the description. If you shop from the United States, again, shop from TCG Player with the link in the description. And uh, thank you for watching.